Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone, we have our new topic in Science 7, which is all about Displacement Time Graph. This will be the third quarter topic and week 3. This topic is a milk paste. The graph shows a linear relationship between displacement and time. Let us get two points from the figure 9. Point 1 is time 1, displacement 1, or P1 is T1 and D1. And P2 is time 2, displacement 2, or P2 is T2 and D2 on the line graph. The displacement d, which is dependent variable, is plotted against time or t, the independent variable. Normally, the independent variable is placed on the horizontal axis and the dependent variable is placed along the vertical axis. Using these two points, the slope is defined as slope is equal to rise divided by the run. From the graph, slope is equal to displacement divided by the change in time. Thus, using the formula, slope is equal to displacement 2 minus displacement 1 divided by time 2 minus time 1. If we choose the two points, P1 is time 5 and displacement 1 is 5 and the P2, the time 2 is 10 and the displacement 2 is 10. Then slope is equal to 10 meters minus 5 meters divided by 10 seconds minus 5 seconds. So the answer is 5 meters divided by 5 seconds. The answer is 1 meter per second. The slope of a straight line is constant. So even if we choose two different pairs of points on the same line, we shall obtain the same slope. The slope of the displacement time graph represents velocity and a straight line graph indicates a constant velocity. The sign of the slope tells the direction of the motion. A negative slope indicates that the direction of the motion is opposite to that of the motion with a positive slope. That is, it is going to the left. A zero slope shows that the body is not moving. The slope of the graph also determines how fast or slow the motion is. Look at the different graphs in figure 11 on the next page. Both graphs in figure 11 represent a positive rightward and constant velocity. However, the slope of the graph in the figure 11a is steeper than in the figure 11b. This steeper slope indicates a faster velocity. Thus, the velocity of the object represented by the graph on the left a is faster than the velocity of the object represented by the graph in the right b. 